I'm going to show you how to use a GFCI tester. It's ground fault circuit interrupter. So I'm going to show you how to use it. And these are pretty cheap. These testers here, you could pick them up from anywhere, but if you look in the description below, you could purchase them. So probably could get you a couple of them off Amazon. It's good to have around the house. But first, you see this GFCI plug. Only thing you have to do is take this tester and you insert it into the socket. You notice that those lights light up on the right-hand side. It lets you know that the uh, connection is wired correctly. So that's all you have to do it. And to test the GFCI, just push the button. It should trip the breaker. That means that the GFCI is good. And I'm gonna reset it. And I'm gonna just check it again. Only thing you have to do is push the button. It should trip the breaker. And that's all to it. So I'm gonna show you this, uh, different ways. The first one, the correct wiring. I got this plugged in. You see all of these different things occur, wreck wiring, hot and neutral reverse, hot and ground reverse, and so on. So the first one, we're gonna test the correct way. The two lights to the right should glow. If you look at it, that means that your wiring is correct. So I'm, I'm gonna unplug it. And I'm gonna wire it to where the hot and neutral are reverse. So you see the two lights to the left should glow, the red light and the yellow light. So what I'm doing, I'm taking the wires out and I'm reversing the hot and the neutral. So I'm gonna put the hot with a neutral go. And then I'm gonna take the neutral and put it where the hot is at. So now we're gonna test it. So like I said, when I plug this in, it got power now. It should light up on the right hand side. So the red, as you see on the, I'm sorry, on the left. And also in the middle. So now we're gonna do three. We're gonna do the hot and ground reverse. So I'm gonna put the hot on the ground I'm gonna put the ground on the hot. So that's the hot on the ground there. And I'm gonna put the ground on the hot. So now if we plug the tester in, you should get a light on the left and a light on the right. And there should be no light in the middle. So turn the power back on. So we're gonna put the tester in. As you can see the hot and ground reverse. You notice that the two lights on the outside lit up. So the red and yellow or orange, whatever you want, whatever color you wanna call it. And it should be no light in the middle. So the fourth thing, we're gonna take the hot off. And wire back up the right, the correct way. And now we're gonna take the hot off. So I'm gonna turn the power back on. Make sure that you don't touch this hot lead, it is hot. So I'm gonna plug it in and you should get no lights. That means the hot is open. So the hot is not connected. So the next thing we're gonna take the neutral off. We're gonna put the hot back on and we're gonna take the white wire off the neutral. So now you should get one light to the right. You look at the neutrals when we plug it in, only one light should come on and it should be to the right. The other two lights should be off. Next, we're gonna take the ground off. Put the neutral back on and we're gonna disconnect the ground. And once we turn the power back on and plug this in, you should have one light in the middle look at it one light in the middle so that's how this test to work so if this video helped subscribe to my channel and thank you and have a great day